According to this article, too, like civil liberties experts are already latching on to the lack of transparency and um, inaccuracies in the AI generated results. So it's going to be questioned. It, it's definitely going to be questioned. Well, I mean, and you put AI in the tool and now it becomes a really target rich environment for, you know, for folks on whatever side of the of the investigative process is. Right. Mm -hmm. Because it could be a, a, a civil dispute and one side is going to latch onto that. Right, your the the attack, the 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 exposure, right? The attack surface when you put AI on the tool, it grows exponentially on what things, mm -hmm. what lawyers on whatever side could latch on to to discredit the work. Right. And so, are we considering that? Are we considering how examiners will be exposed um, to argumentation because the a tool has AI in it, right? Um, do we have? I said it before. Something as simple as the prompts. Are the prompts being logged? When they happen? What did they say? What the amount of responses that it got? Out of, of the responses, how many were correct? How many were incorrect? Do we have those those uh, statistics? I believe we don't. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised that, again, attack surface has been brought in. Um, folks on the other side, with good reason, will ask for that, right? How yes. can we... How can we validate this process, right? Um, 